Hi, I'm Angela Prilly with eXp Realty and I am the community representative for the area and we're focusing on local businesses in Saskatoon. Today we're going to be talking to Mike from Glitch Gifts and he's got a really, really cool store here. I'll let you tell us about it, Mike. Sure. Um, so basically what we specialize in is gifts and novelties, uh, but more it's sort of the weird, wacky kind of end of things. So uh, ever since I was a kid, I've just loved, you know, kind of fun stores like this when yeah. I travel and we've never really had one. So we're kind of like a boutique gifts and novelty shop here. Yeah. Yes, very much so. How did you come about with the name? Uh, you know what? I was actually really struggling with the name yeah. and uh, that was the hardest part for me. And my friend Karen actually came up with the name and uh, she just thought, how about glitch, like a computer glitch? And I thought that's perfect. Yeah, it's kind of just weird and wacky in here. And I thought, yeah, yeah it's perfect. So, <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah. yeah, it really kind of catches your attention yeah. that way. Yeah. It works and well. what got you into this? Like what kind of grabbed your attention even to think about doing it? Well, I travel a lot and I always I don't know, I love shopping for one thing and I love just like the weird and the unusual. So whenever I'd go to a new city like Edmonton, I'd always make sure to go to White Ave and look for the shops like this and Vancouver and Toronto and all those kinds of places. And I've always wished we had one. Uh, there was a store in Victoria called Zydeco. Okay. That was like my specific inspiration when I was a teenager and they sold like the horse head masks and all that fun stuff before <laughs> the internet was even really yeah. a household thing. Uh, so yeah, so I just got grabbed, you know, I walked into a store and I saw all these masks and all this cool stuff and I, and I knew from, you know, I, mid, middle teen, teen years probably that this is, I'd love to do this one day, so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So looking at your site, you've got very distinct profiles even on your staff. It sounds yeah. like they've got some cool, like, I don't know, not necessarily personalities, but just kind of niches that they fill as well. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, so yeah, we just kind of, you know, I, when people do want to, I get a lot of people that want to work here and, and we always kind of, you know, they've got to fit sort of the mold and they've got to have some personality yeah. and they've got to be maybe a little bit different themselves mm -hmm. in order to fit in. And I think, uh, I think our customers really appreciate that. And I, although we're, you know, we're starting to sort of hit the mainstream a little more now, I think a lot of our customers are sort of that, they, they fall into a sort of a different yeah. walk than, than most. And, yeah, so I think the people that are that I surround myself here just kind of came naturally, but I also yeah. think, yeah, they were just the best fit. Cool. Yeah. That makes sense. Now, I also read that you have a museum. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> kind of a museum. Uh, so that's another thing I've always loved is going yeah. on, on drives uh, and, you know, and especially in the States, you'd see every town had this weird little one room kind of mm -hmm. dime museum. So yeah, we kind of had a collection of stuff building and it was actually my wife's idea to start the museum. Yeah. We bought these shrunken heads to add to our collection and my wife's kind of like, you know what, we should just set up a display in the shop and it turned into a full on museum. Uh, nice. My friend Dave Geary was a big hand in that and he's lent us a few of the products, including a Bigfoot, uh, an actual cast of a Bigfoot footprint. And, oh really? Yeah, so we've got a haunted doll and it, you know, it's just, I don't know, it, it just captures the imagination and yeah. it's, a, it's a really fun creative outlet for me. So yeah, yeah. that's fun. Absolutely. So what are some other details or things that you offer that I maybe didn't touch on that people might not know about? Um, so we do, we actually have probably somewhere between 30 and 40 local artists that we oh, sell nice. for in here. Yeah, yeah, we do a consignment rate and, okay. and as long as the art's a little bit different and a little yeah. bit wacky or fun and uh, we, we will, we, you know, we love supporting the local art mm -hmm. community and that's been a huge thing right yeah. from the get go. Uh, so we did that we started kind of getting into custom t-shirts and uh, with the pandemic and the lockdown mm -hmm. we also that was the building of the website that you mentioned and we never nice. really had a good website before that and uh, so we now have online shopping local delivery yeah. and yeah, we've, we've got quite a bit going on now yeah good for you absolutely yeah. yeah yeah and a nice thing to build on too when everything was shut down so you really come absolutely. out stronger in the end yeah yeah we worked pretty hard during the lockdown to make sure we were going to get through it and good for and you yeah, yeah. What's your favorite element as far as a store and running it? And uh, I think my absolute favorite thing uh, is the people. I just love, yeah. you know, even I just, yeah, all the people that come in and I chat with people and, you know, I've got, I've got people in the neighborhood that just like to come in and visit. And, and uh, yeah, I've always loved people. And I think that's the biggest mm -hmm. thing for me. Uh, and then the next, you know, coming after that is I just, I love being my own boss. I love doing what I want to do and being creative and uh, it just feels great coming into work every day. You know, I've been doing this almost six years now Nice. and it's, yeah, it's just, it's awesome. I love it. Good for you. Yeah. That's amazing. So I'm assuming that, yeah, customers would probably kind of be the same idea. They probably enjoy that community aspect and just being able to find something Absolutely. different, but yeah, 
Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We, we, we built like a little coffee corner that's behind me there. Yep. And we yep. sort of have to shut that down during the pandemic, mm -hmm. but we've got a little visiting, you know, and it's kind of turned into more, more of like a community and people will just come and hang out that, that uh, want to visit with each other that maybe didn't even know each other before. It's, it's kind of yep. morphed into something pretty cool. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Okay. That was perfect. Thank you so much for your time. I really yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. It'd be fun to bring some highlights here. And you guys, you'll have to come check it out. There's some pretty cool stuff in here. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.